Shine here. Today we're going to learn how to play only one off of Ariana Grande's new album. I'm going to show you how to play all those jazzy bar chord shapes. Check below. There's going to be a link to the tabs down there. You also see all my social media links. You can click those and hit that subscribe button if you learn something today and you want to learn some awesome tunes in the future. Let's zoom in so we can check this one out. This song uses two chord progressions, one that acts as both the verse and the chorus, and another that's going to be our pre-chorus to link those two together. And we're using these jazzy seventh chord shapes. They're all bar chords today, so if you don't know how to make these shapes, this is a nice lesson that uses a lot of our basic jazz chords. And the first one we need today is an F major seventh. Here's how you make it. Your first finger bars across the 8th fret from the A to high E strings. Your third finger is on fret 10 of the D string. Your second finger is on fret 9 of the G string. Your fourth finger is on fret 10 of the B string. Strum those five strings. That's an F major 7th chord. Okay, so you play it like this. Strum it once. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then we need a quick A minor 7 to E minor 7. A minor 7 goes like this. Your second finger is on fret 5 of the low E string. And then your third finger is on fret 5 of the D, G, and B strings. You play those four notes together. You make a mini bar with your third finger. And that's an A minor 7. E minor 7 is up here. Your first finger bars across the 7th fret from the A to high E strings. Your third finger is on fret 9 of the D string. Your second finger is on fret 8 of the B string. Strum those 5 strings. E minor 7 is that chord. So we have those two chords. Start on the F major 7. Then you're going to hit a quick A minor 7, E minor 7 leads you back to F major 7. And then you're going to do a quick D minor 7 to E dominant 7. Okay? D minor 7 goes like this. Your first finger bars across fret 5 from the A to high E strings. Your third finger is on fret 7 of the D string. Your second finger is on fret 6 of the B string. Strum those 5 strings. That's a D minor 7. E7 is like this. Your first finger on fret 5 of the B string. Your second finger on fret 6 of the D string. Your third finger on fret 7 of the A string. And your fourth finger on fret 7 of the G string. If you guys know how to make a C7, it's very much like that chord just up here. Okay, just those four notes. That's your E7. And that's going to lead to an A minor 7 this time instead of an F major 7 like our earlier chord progression. Let's see the whole thing so far. F major 7, A minor 7, E minor 7, F major 7, D minor 7, E7, A minor 7. You're going to do that again. D minor 7, E7 to A7 minor 7. And then you're going to go G minor 7 to C7. Here's how this one goes. G minor 7 is exactly like A minor 7, but two frets down. We're at the third fret on the E string and the third fret on the D, G, and B strings with your second and third fingers. C7 is new though. We have our first finger barring across fret 3 from the A to high E strings. Your third finger on fret 5 of the D string and your fourth finger on fret 5 of the B string. Strum those five strings. That's a C7. A little bit different than this C7, but I like how it leads us back to our F major 7. It's got a little bit better voice leading that way. So, the whole thing is going to go like this. One, two, three, four. 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 Like that. Okay? 
That's going to be the chord progression we use for the verse and the chorus. Now we just strum it differently when we're on the chorus, but let's talk a little bit about the form now. You play that chord progression once as an intro and then one more time as the first verse. So you only play it once through as the verse and then you're on to the pre-chorus. So let's do it one more time, just a little bit slower, so you can hear the syncopated chords that happen, those quick chords that lead us to the longer chords. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two. Three, four, one, two, three, four, like that. Okay, so once you got that chord progression down, we can move on to the pre chorus. And it sounds like this. We only have one new chord, this E flat major seventh. Right here, here it is. Flat major seven. We're on fret six of the A string with your first finger, fret eight on the D string with your third finger, fret seven on the G string with your second finger, and fret eight on the B string with your fourth finger. Same exact shape as our F major seven, just down two frets. You can also play that high E string too, that's going to be fret six if you bar it. Sometimes I don't bar it like the sound of those four, but you can bar it if you want to. Here's how it goes. Down, 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 up, 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 down, 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 up. These chords again, we have F major 7 going to E minor 7, going to E flat major 7, going to D minor 7. You play that chord progression twice. At the end of the first time, you're going to hit a quick E minor to get back to your F major. Now that's just going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. On beat 4, you hit that E minor 7. Play it again, the chord progression. This time, so the second time around, you're going to go like this. Ready? And that's, right there, the chorus. You're hitting that D minor 7 in E minor 7 really quick. And then you're on to the chorus. Okay, chorus uses the same chord progression as earlier, but we have some new strumming. Kind of like the strumming pattern for our pre-chorus, except when we hit that long chord, you're going to hold that, those notes out for a little bit longer. So one, like that. That's how I interpreted these rhythms. That was wrong. Should have been A minor 7. Okay. Now you're just going to play that for the chorus and then again for the verse. The only difference is the verse is more sparse. Same exact thing. Play the verse one time through. To the pre-chorus. again. We play that chord progression just the same way as we did before. There's only two parts, remember, so it's just back and forth between them. And that's going to be it. You play that chord progression basically for the rest of the tune. If you guys got any questions on this song, please let me know.
Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I wish the insects were a little bit quieter. There's nothing I can do about that. It was really nice and chill when I set up. And then, of course, they just like to party when I'm here. So, my name is Sean. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your support. Hit that subscribe button for more lessons just like this one every day. And I'll see you tomorrow with another lesson.